Hi, welcome along to another video. It's good news regarding the Scopex experiment that was due to take place in Sweden this summer. It's been cancelled. This is definitely worth celebrating. In Reuters, Sweden rejects pioneering solar geoengineering test. Under pressure from indigenous people and environmental groups, Sweden's space agency on Wednesday called off a landmark first test of technology that aims to slow global warming by dimming sunlight reaching Earth, which you'll remember covered in recent videos about the Scopex thing, Bill Gates, etc. Bill Gates in January said it isn't about dimming when here we see again, as was shown from the Times article, it is. So the Scopex technology being used and for your historical information, especially as the Reuters article states it's a pioneering test, which it really isn't. Well, it kind of is and it kind of isn't. So back in 2011, SPICE, the Stratospheric Particle Injection for Climate Engineering project from the UK's independent newspaper in 2011, High hopes for Norfolk's artificial volcano in fight against climate change. The project could result in 20 balloons, each the size of Wembley Stadium, firing tons of dust into the air at 20 kilometers up. And you can just see in the image there, a sort of Zeppelin type hydrogen balloon, or what Scopex might call a gondola. And remember the gondola is the thing that hangs under the hydrogen balloon. So in 2011, it was SPICE. You can see in the Scientific American from 2011, an experiment starting next month in the UK will pump water one kilometre into the air to test a new climate cooling method that eventually could deliver sunlight reflective sulphate particles into the stratosphere 10 years ago in the UK. This test was delayed. This is the guilty list from the SPICE project website. University of Edinburgh, University of Bristol. International listeners, viewers will recognise the name Bristol from the regular protests that have been happening there recently regarding unfortunate regulations that the government's trying to bring in, banning protests and stuff. University of Oxford, University of Cambridge, the Met Office, Marshall Aerospace, Science and Technology Facilities Council, Natural Environment Research Council, the Integrated Assessment of Geoengineering Proposals and the Engineering and Physical Sciences Research Council. And then from The Guardian in 2012, May 2012, geoengineering experiment cancelled due to perceived conflict of interest. Two scientists involved in SPICE project to simulate the cooling effect of volcanoes had submitted patents for similar technology. So there's a conflict of interest between the scientists involved. There was also an, um, an article put out at the time as well that it was due to the financial backing being removed or cancelled. But of course, what it definitely wasn't affected by, and the reason for the cancellation definitely wasn't, were the activists that got in touch with the local media, radio and newspapers, those sorts of places, and also the nature reserves and made sure that they knew that this was happening in their backyard. And then in the end, anyway, it's cancelled. This was a good thing. A few years later, it had migrated to the US. And there were two experiments carried out. The first was cancelled, and the second went ahead. The headline, US scientists launch world's biggest solar geoengineering study. US scientists are set to send aerosol injections 20 kilometers up into the Earth's stratosphere in the world's biggest solar geoengineering program to date. Harvard University is the name involved there, which you'll all recognize. So, Scopex, what's just been canceled in Sweden? Scopex plans to spray water molecules into the stratosphere to create a one kilometer long and 100 meter wide icy plume. Bill Gates and other foundations are substantially fund funding the project and aerospace companies are thought to be taking a business interest in the technology's potential. So there you have your Bill Gates connection and also there is a business interest there as well. 
don't forget we learned from professor atkinson when he gave um a very good chapter in his book that i covered a cup uh, about three videos ago it's about a month ago or something where he mentioned the way scientists see the outdoors as an outdoor lab the indoors is the indoors lab and it mentions in this article if lab tests are positive the experiment would then be replicated with limestone etc so if the spraying the water molecules out to create a one kilometer long and a hundred meter wide icy plume works if lab tests are positive right that's outdoor lab that's how scientists see your environment what you walk around in they see that as an outdoor laboratory it is perfectly acceptable for them to experiment in the outdoor laboratory that's their mentality their thought process these are very disturbed sick individuals that you're having to deal with and they hold places of authority in universities such as harvard the university of cambridge the university of oxford so let's touch on the university of oxford is also oh so great but they have one of the biggest animal experimentation laboratories out there they they opened it five years ago so that's where they are in the 21st century they're opening the biggest animal experimentation laboratory so do you think these people have a problem experimenting on you by messing about with your climate and weather you know if you think they're going to be doing something that's positive for you and on site for you you know you are sorely mistaken you need to wake up really quickly like now okay so continuing in the 2017 article scientists hope to complete two small-scale dispersals of first water and then calcium carbonate particles by 2022 future tests could involve seeding the sky with aluminium oxide or even diamonds aluminium sound familiar but we'll just distract you by talking about shiny diamonds okay. so what stands out there is obviously the 2022 thing and we come back full circle where in 2021 what they hope to achieve by 2022 has been cancelled in sweden and that's because people united indigenous groups people who live on the ground live in the area okay the people who live in the area combined with environmental groups as in people who don't live in the area so you've got your offline and your online situation people that are there the people that aren't there and united together this has been cancelled this is exactly what happened in 2011 in norfolk in the uk okay so the only place it's happened to of the three experiments going on the uk and the swedish ones are cancelled the usa one went ahead so when people say you can't win you're not going to win well you are winning you are winning so in other news over to the united arab emirates the khalifa university researchers share knowledge at 2021 international rain enhancement forum Abu Dhabi at the first virtual international rain enhancement forum researchers from Khalifa University shared their innovative methodologies and new insights to enhancing rainfall across the UAE there's an article there with more information on the UAE's programs and there is also a link in the information section of this video to a YouTube video of the conference or session a it's 20 minutes long something like that it's had 12 views and it's from the uae research program for rain enhancement science there's a picture of a cloud seeding plane america so currently bear river area as reported on every year in these videos they're voting again on whether to do the weather modification now it's potentially looking likely that people might vote it back in it's up to you to make sure that doesn't happen Historically, 1960, Bear River Commission out of Logan, Utah. Their third annual report obviously ties in with the last video about Utah, according to the Guardian's news from the UK, joining in with weather modification. So on page 14, in the hydrology section, there's an, a small snippet on, weather mo on the weather modification program where you get 100% confirmation that Utah was involved 60 years ago a cloud seeding program sponsored by utah power and light company has been in operation for the past several years 
and was continued during 1960. Point proved. An article from a couple of years ago, for those of you that don't remember the United Nations Conference in Africa, for those of you that are new to this subject, there's the article there about um, the US, the United States and Saudi Arabia blocking regulation of geoengineering. Once again, celebrate the win out of Sweden. Feel free, please, to buy me a coffee. And see you next time.